If you've been struggling to get results on your Facebook ads, you're not alone. Ever since the iOS updates happened, advertisers and business owners alike have been struggling to make sense of everything that has changed and how they can continue to get in front of their audience and convert to sales. In this video, we're going to walk through some of the basic things you can do to help improve your Facebook ad results and improve them fast. Let's go ahead and cue that intro and dive on in. I'm Kelly Sturdivant, I'm Facebook ad strategist, and I help business owners learn and understand how Facebook ads can not only help their business grow, but how they can continue to adapt and change in the ever changing landscape of advertisement so that they can succeed in their business. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you are up to date on all things Facebook ads, and be sure to like this video and share it with your community if you think it can be beneficial to them. Now, it's no secret that when the iOS 14 update happened in 2021, we saw a change of landscape of what advertisers could do with Facebook. We lost a lot of data, we lost a lot of targeting abilities, and there's been a ma massive shift that's happened in order to really get in front of your audience and make those conversions happen. Now, it's not impossible, but they're, they're definitely not as effective as they used to be, at least at the time of recording this video. Prior to the iOS updates, you could run a mediocre ad and still make really good results from it but now it's become increasingly difficult. And now more than ever, your ad actually needs to not only speak to the right people, but it needs to speak to the right messaging and the right pain points so that your conversion rates will actually decrease and, and you'll be able to be more effective in your advertising. So what can you do right now to help improve your Facebook ad results and get more out of your ad budget for better results? So the first thing we're, we're gonna take a look at is your ad copy. If you've been running ads for a while and you haven't updated your copy, this is a really good time to do that. So refresh and rebuild any new ad copies that you might need. This is a really great way to switch it up a little bit. If you've been running long form copy, maybe it's time to try short form copy. In fact, recently Facebook has started putting a little error or a little warning message when you put your ad copy in uh, your ad, where it's saying it's beyond a 280 character limit. Now you can still run longer ad copy ads, there's no problems to it, but this little error, warning or error message kind of signals that Facebook may be favoring short-term copy right now. So this would be a really great thing to test out in your industry to see if short copy actually makes better headway for you. Another thing to look at is your ad copy hook. What is that opening line or two of your ad? And does it speak to the people that you're trying to get in front of? Are you trying different angles? Are you trying different language? Are you speaking to their emotion? Like, are you, are you talking to their pain points? Or does your product and services speak about the benefits that you're offering uh, that they're gonna get if they purchase or take your lead magnet or whatever it is that you're offering in your ad. Really spend a little bit of time creating new ad copy and testing out different methods of, of your verbiage to see if this can help you get in front of your audience a little bit better. The next thing you can look at is your ad images. Now, the image is generally the first thing people see when they look at your ad in the newsfeed. Generally, that's what kind of gets that attention first is it in an image. So if your images aren't kind of scroll stopping or scroll worthy, people are just going to flip on by and they're not going to pay any attention. So if you've been using mm, subtle tones or subtle colors and everything looks like everyone else's ad out there, this is a really great way for you to step in as something different. Some of the techniques that you could try is as simple as using a black and white image. This is something that not a lot of people are seeing in their newsfeed, so it can spark that, oh, wait a second, what did I just see? And they'll go back and take a look. Another really great uh, technique I saw someone use is actually turning the image upside down. Again, it kind of sparks that question in someone's head, like, did I really just see that? It allows people to look and want to take a look at what's happening. So if they can stop and see the image, they're more likely going to stop and read your ad copy. If you've been using still images, maybe now it's time to change it up and use video. 
video is actually being favored a little bit more right now in the ad landscape because video views is a targetable option for people to build an audience from. So if you haven't been using video now, it might be a good time to start looking at video as part of your ad imagery. The next thing you can adjust to improve on your ad results is updating your audiences. If you've been running custom audiences for a long time and you haven't updated them in several months, it may be a really good opportunity to update it, especially if you have a, an email list or a purchasers list. Generally speaking, anything more than a thousand new people onto that list should be worth redoing. This can help you to also create new lookalike audiences because now you have a little bit more data going forward of the types of people that have already hit uh, your warm audiences. Another thing to do is create new lookalikes. Um, most people will stop at about a one to 2% lookalike. We're actually seeing right now that a two to three, a three to th four and a four to 5% audience actually is converting a little bit better. This is partly due because of the iOS changes. We've lost a lot of the Apple um, targeting abilities. So we've kind of had to expand the audiences in order to reach enough people that are more closely resembling the audience we're trying to reach to. So a lot of advertisers have seen some success in increasing those lookalike sizes in order to get in front of a really good audience for them. One thing to keep in mind is there's been an update with the conversion events where the targeting expansion has been defaulted. This means if you're running any kind of conversion event, you can no longer turn off that targeting expansion option. Now, there is still some testing being done on whether this is a good thing or not, but it helps to have an idea of what your audience size is prior to this expansion happening. So one thing I've been doing is just taking a look at what uh, whatever uh, saved audiences I've created, that's your targeted option. So, you know, the um, pages they're looking at, the people they're seeing, the interests and likes they have. When you build up these audiences in your top, uh, in your top corner, it'll kind of give you an idea of the size of audience you're dealing with. Once you add in that targeted expansion, this then increases into several hundred million. So it's very difficult to actually get a range as to what's happening. But by taking a look at it in the edited section, you do get to see whether your audience size is like one to four million or whether it's 15 to 20 million and you may need to make some adjustments. Now this isn't perfect and at the time of recording you could still do this, uh, but keep an eye on that as a way to just gauge that audience size to see if it helps make it bigger or, or uh, smaller to help in your conversions. Our next step is your campaign objectives. Now, if you've been running ads for a while, you probably know all about your campaign objectives. This means, are you running to purchase? Are you running to add to cart? Are you running a uh, complete registration? Whatever your objective is, sometimes you may need to make a little adjustment in order to not compete with the rest of the advertisers that are also trying to get in front of the same people. So for instance, if you are, especially in e-commerce, if you are running a conversion ad for purchases, maybe you want to try running to add to cart instead. This still gives the same action because we know that majority of people who add items to their cart do end up going on to purchase them, but it takes you out of that competition phase for ad space for that purchase conversion. So it can help you to reduce those ad costs just a little bit uh, and still be able to see the results going forward. The same thing could be said for things like brand awareness ads, maybe trying out a video view ad where you can build an audience of people who have watched a portion of that video. Another one is changing up your traffic ads. Most people will default to link clicks on a traffic ad, but if you switch to landing page views, this helps you just to get a little bit more refined audience of people who are actually waiting for that page to load rather than just clicking the link. And also something like an engagement ad, switching from a page like campaign to a post engagement campaign can be just a simple tweak that can help you to build a better audience of followers for your Facebook page. Costs may increase just slightly, but they're more, um, they're more likely to convert to a warmer audience for you down the line. And finally, our last way that you can help improve on your ads is check your landing page for changes. Average CTR or click-through rate on your ad is about one to 3%. That means of all the traffic that you're sending to that landing page, you shouldn't see approximately one to two, maybe one to 3% actually click through to that landing page. 
If this number isn't between one and 3%, it's a good indicator that your ad isn't actually hitting the people it needs to hit. And you may want to adjust your audience or your copy in order to get in front of them. However, if you are seeing this one to 3% or higher on your click-through rate, and you're still not getting the conversions you were hoping for or expecting, this can be a very good indication that the landing page has some tweaks that need to be done because it's not speaking to the audience correctly. Now, generally on a landing page, there's a wide variety of what conversion rates are actually good for those. Um, most pages, you want to see at least a 40% or higher conversion rate of people who opt into whatever it is you're sending them to. This means lead magnets, webinars, free challenges, etc. This is not the same as a conversion rate for e-commerce and purchases. Those are actually a lot lower and they could be as little as 1%. If you're not seeing a 40 or a higher percent conversion rate based on your own industry, this could be an indication you need to make some changes on your landing page. This may mean adjusting the, uh, the above the fold section of your landing page. This may be checking out your images or the branding that is happening. This is a really good opportunity for you to speak to a sales page copy conversion writer uh, who can help you to kind of identify whether there are things on that page that may need to be tweaked in order to increase any conversions. Now, as anything, when you're testing out, only test one new thing at a time. If you test out too many things at once, then you really don't know what is actually the problem and what needs to be changed. So the first thing I would maybe adjust is that above the fold messaging or the header of your uh, landing page to see if that helps you convert better. If not, split test with something new and continue to test out from that point on. So these are just a few ways that it can help improve your ad results and help improve them fast. These are simple changes that you can make and tweak real time within a few minutes and see how they work and uh, go forward from there. Like always, be sure to give yourself enough time and budget to test everything out to ensure whether it's working or not working for you. Below this video, I have a bunch of resources that can help you along your ad journey. So be sure to take a look and see if any of those resonate with you and can help you out. We'll see you on the next training. Uh, but the quality of people reaching, um, <laughs> Something in my mouth popped out. <laughs> Forgot what I was talking about.